So in this video, we're going to talk about transportable table spaces. In the OCM exam, we have to use a transportable, we had to do a transportable table space task. But first, we had to convert the, um, <clears throat> the file from a Solaris 64-bit um, file to an Intel 32-bit file before we could do the transportable table spaces. So in this video, I'm going to have two sections. The first is I'm going to actually create a table space, create a transportable table space uh, files, but I'm also going to convert it to a Solaris 64-bit so then I can emulate the, t the OCM task in the second um, step of this uh, video, or second section of this video, so that I can import a Solaris 64-bit um, data file eventually into my 32-bit database. So first of all, let's get started by creating a table space in a table. So I create one table in this table space and let's go ahead and populate it. Alright, so we've created a table called Soleo in a table space, also called Soleo, and uh, we populated this table with three records. So the next, the first thing we want to do is uh, um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and put this table space into read only mode. Actually, we don't even have to do that. Let's just go ahead and check for self containment. Exec. Check it by saying we check it by checking this particular table transport set violations. And notice that there is no records here. So that means that this um, one table space is self-contained. That means there's no um, <coughs> uh, objects that are referenced. Um, outside this table space like I don't know indexes or whatever so so let's go ahead and place this table space into read only mode and let's go ahead and um, create a transportable table space so the first thing we have to do is um, let's create a directory object put everything in this particular directory and then uh, um, let's go ahead and exit and then let's go ahead and create our transportable table space so using um, data pump exp dp exp dp
Okay, so the next thing we have to do is um, we have to convert the endingness of this um, particular data file, the Saleo um, data file. So let's go ahead and do that or that table space. So let's figure out select, oh sorry, SQL plus SSDA. And then let's do uh, um, So we are currently in uh, um, this environment, and we want to convert our table space to this environment. So let's go ahead and do that. <coughs> and the command for that is uh, we actually use an rman command. So let's do that rman target slash. say convert table space Leo to platform equal to and we want the this platform name. That's all we should have to do. And we failed. Oh, slash Oracle. Oh, there must be capital TTS. Hold on. And it is. So let's uh, try this again. Okay, so now we have our dump file, our log file. We actually have this um, as our table space. Also, this we've just created, and uh, um, our export dialog. This is a. Uh, um, <coughs> It holds the metadata, and this is the actual data file. Now that it's already, but it's converted um, by our man into a 64-bit Solaris um, endingness. So now what I'm going to do is uh, stop here, and actually the last thing I want to do is actually drop the table space. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that's the end of this section. So in the previous section of this video, we created a transportable table space, and specifically we created a uh, Solaris 64-bit file for our transportable table space. And for this part of this section, for this section of the video, I want to do a conversion back to the 32-bit version so that I can get it into the database. So this is more representative of what was on the OCM exam. So the first thing I want to do is uh, um, <clears throat> convert from a 64. I want to show you what files I have currently. So this is our six Solera 64-bit um, um, data file, and I want to convert it back. So let's go ahead and deal with that now. So um,
Oops. So set the one is one fifty. Transportable platform. So let's try this again. So plat, platform name Indian format. Transportable platform. All right. So this is what we want to convert from, and we need to have that name. So let's keep that name in, in our. Um, in our cache there. So the very first thing we want to do is <coughs> convert our data file. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's do rman target. Okay, so we're going to convert data That should be all we have to do. So we convert the data file from the 64-bit. We do our conversion to this particular um, <coughs> file name, and let's see what happens. Missing something here. Da, da, da. So I should have had. I'm uh, missing a single tick right there. So let's do this again. Do, 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 do all this. Next line. All this. Single tick, comma. And then the rest. That should take care of it. Okay, so now we've done the conversion. In fact, let's look at ls minus l slash user two such or data such fcm, and we should see now a Soleo DBF data file there, and we do. So now what we have to do is uh, um, <coughs> actually have to do the transportable table space part itself. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we have to do is uh, create or replace this Now I'm doing this here and I don't really have to do it because it's already been created but in our OCM example we're going from one database to another and so we would have to create or <coughs> or replace 
this directory in both in both databases. So okay. So now let's try our import impdp. worked. So let's go ahead and look at that. And let's see. Alter table space layout read byte. That seems to have worked. Select bar from Saleo. Insert into Saleo values for commit And uh, so we brought it over into read-write mode, and we were able to add um, records into it. So um, this particular video is now complete.